peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are here in nature breathing in that beautiful prana feeling powerful we've got the sun up there we've got the birds over there we've got the flowers over there we're having a good time can i get a hello there five signs the matrix has you now i'm becoming my greatest version i've realized enlightenment is knowing how much you don't know so i am the first person to say i don't know much but guess what that makes me very wise now i connect with a lot of young people and i'm going to share with you an insight into what we call the matrix or what i call the maya a lot of us, we've seen the film called The Matrix, where you have this reality is nothing more than a computer simulation. It is not what you think it is. And a lot of people I connect with already feel they are actually living in a matrix. So what are the five signs that The Matrix has you? The first sign is you believe everything you see on the TV. That's right. You're there eating popcorn, scratching your nuts, or <laughs> checking yourself in the mirror or posting a selfie, and the TV's on in the background. And maybe it's the news. You're listening to it. You're watching it. And you believe everything they tell you. That was me in my early journey. Okay? Because they make it so believable. But you have to realize when you start questioning everything, life takes on a whole new meaning. When you start questioning everything, you become more empowered. What freed me along my journey was to realize you have to break down words, okay? Why do they call it a new story? Because a story means nobody is accountable. That's why the story is always changing, right? So they're telling you right there it's just a story. It doesn't mean it's the truth. So don't believe anything, even if I've said it until you know it for yourself, until you've done your own research, until it makes you feel like, okay, I can accept this. Yeah, the second sign is no time. You've got no time for friends or family, no time to enjoy yourself. That is a sure sign the matrix has you. Who was the matrix designed by? A lot of people ask. In my experience, diving deep, the matrix was designed by entities in another dimension who have far superior wisdom than the human beings on planet Earth. They create illusions. They are the illusion makers, and that is why they are so powerful. But they're not controlling it from the 3D. They're controlling it from the tesseract, the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension. Check out my video on the fifth dimension. No time means that you go to work so you can afford to have a life, but then you spend all your time at work and end up with no time to live the life you're working for. What I call the conveyor belt lifestyle, my friends. And that was me along my early journey. I was studying so much at university. But guess what? I had no time for the people that mattered the most. Break down the word of degree, emanating from the Latin de gradis, which means to step down. So you can never be as smart as the one who is creating the exam. So once again, I worked in a school for many years. I was a teacher, 
psychologist working with autistic children. So I know how the education system works firsthand. And it is a massive program because the true nature of education, educari, means to bring out. So the solution is to create time. Ask yourself, did you phone a friend? No, this is not who wants to be a millionaire. But a dear friend, are you connecting with those who remind you who you are? Are you going out into nature? breathing in that beautiful prana or are you stuck because there are so many programs that take away your time people say time is money and they are right that's why a sure sign you are breaking out of the matrix is that you now have time to follow your dreams because you place value on your dreams the third sign the matrix has you is you believe in the illusion of scarcity. That's right. It's always running out, right? The food is running out. <laughs> the time is running out. The illusion of scarcity simply means that we don't embrace the truth of abundance. You see, there are many programs in existence which go like this. Money is negative. I have to be righteous all the time. I have to be spiritual all the time. Or I have to be powerful all the time. The truth I've discovered is that you have to unite the spiritual and the material. The higher wisdom with knowing how the matrix works and now you become unstoppable. Because certain people say, I don't like money, but at the same time they need it. And then again, certain people say, I want all the money, but then they have no spiritual wisdom. But what happens when you fuse the two together? What happens when you realize, look, I can create money because money is energy just by feeling good about myself. Can I get a hello there? I can create time just by turning the hourglass over. There is more than enough to go around, but once again, it starts with your belief system. The fourth sign the matrix has you, you probably think your food came from the supermarket. No, no, I said, you probably think your food originated from the supermarket. You see, so many of us, we've become disconnected from the land. The Native Americans always realized the connection with the land was the most powerful way to live. So what helped me along my journey was going to a farm seeing where the organic food is being produced. Okay, I travel a lot. I'm in America, I'm in Africa, I'm in Brazil. And it's so beautiful when you see an avocado tree, when you see a mango tree. Because a lot of us, we're not even interested to know where our food came from. Many of us, we're not even concerned about the welfare of the animals. You see, I realize all life is precious. That's why I became more conscious about what I was putting into my mouth. Because peace begins on your plate. Many of us, we say, well, my doctor's gonna take care of me. That was me along my early journey. That's a sure sign the matrix has you. Why? because physicians heal thyself. You see, the pharmaceutical industry is a bigness. The pharmaceutical industry is a business. That means it's money. Money is gonna be made on disease. There is no money to be made in the cure. 
So you've got to learn how your body works to free yourself from the matrix. And it's easy once you start eating more strawberries, more watercress, you're taking care of yourself, right? Because there is allopathic medicine and there is naturopathic medicine. Allopathic medicine is what so many of the world are on. It only treats the symptoms. When you move towards naturopathic medicine, now you are treating the underlying causes. And that's a sure sign you are becoming your greatest version. And the fifth sign, baby, baby, is that you are fighting the matrix. Once again, how can you fight an illusion? Let me say that again. How can you fight an illusion? How can you fight something which is not real out there? It only exists as a program in your mind. That's the question, right? The secret I've discovered is that it's not about fighting the system. It's about using that same energy you have. Maybe it's anger towards the system. Gosh, the system is screwing me over. To start reading more, learning more, expanding your mind more. So you can attract what you want. But also asking yourself, what am I doing to make the world a better place? What am I doing to create a whole new world? So don't spend time on fighting the old. Use that energy to create the new, to accept yourself 100%, to love yourself 100%. I know one thing. Whenever I'm in nature, I realize the truth. The truth is very simple, but to live a simple life, takes incredible mastery. That is the paradox. Right now on the planet, we are living in the most marvelous times in existence. If we can only realize it all starts with us, it all starts from making a conscious choice to realize we all can create a whole new world together. Someone designed a $10,000 website for me for free. Why? Because I gave out information. I give out information. So once again, I enter the law of attraction. That's the new money. It is based on sharing. Share your gifts with me, baby. I'll share my gifts with you. But right now on the planet, I say be free have fun, live your wildest dreams. It's a beautiful day today. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. Enjoy your day. Infinite waters, diving deep. Once again, stay well, stay healthy. Peace.